Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me back. We will start this lesson by installing the software we will use in the course. In addition, we will download the course folder and install the fonts we will use in the course. First, go to Adobe Creative Cloud website. You can find the link in the description of this video. In case you don't have a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, I will show you how to install the software in a minute. But for those who have already subscribed, we can either install it from the Creative Cloud on the web or from the desktop version. I will install it from the web. So let's open the menu and click on Browse All Apps. Now find Adobe After Effects and click Install. Make sure to check this box and click on Install After Effects. In addition, software called Adobe Media Encoder will be automatically installed. If this software is not installed automatically, install it as well. Additional programs that we will use in this course and the following courses are Photoshop and Illustrator. Install these two as well. This can take a few minutes, so be patient. If you do not have a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, you can sign up for a free trial week and install the softwares I mentioned earlier. To participate in the course with me and get the most out of it, please click on the link in the video's description and download the course's main folder called Class Zero. There is a folder called Assets, and inside it, another folder called Fonts. These are the fonts we will use in this course. Let's install the fonts. We will start with this one. Open this folder. Select all the fonts. Right-click and choose Install. For Mac users, there is a folder called Assets, and inside it, another folder called Fonts. Open this folder. With Finder selected, click on Go. Now click on Go to Folder and type this line. Then press Enter. This will bring you to the Fonts folder installed on your system. Now, drag all the fonts from the course folder to the fonts folder. Repeat the same process for other fonts. Before we move on, I want to give you some essential tips to reduce stress while working in any creative process, specifically working on motion design projects. 1. Don't try to understand the mathematics or mechanism of Southern Action's operations. We are not programmers. We are creative people. The most important thing for us is to create our vision, rather than understand how the program works. So don't try to be a smart one. You are only blocking yourself from what is important to you. 2. The creative process is constantly changing. Don't think that every action you do is final. Remember that it is a process, like a sketch, before the final drawing. Don't be a perfectionist when you work on a creative project. You will constantly change something until you love it at the end, and until the client approves the results. This kind of thinking will help you to reduce a lot of stress. 3. In After Effects, there are many ways to reach one function. In some situations, there is no right or wrong. It all depends on the needs of the project you are working on. 4. Shortcuts It's very important. We will see the shortcut in every panel next to the tools icon. So don't worry, you will remember it at the end. 5. Don't be afraid to play around with the program. There is a restart button for everything. 6. Don't watch all the lessons in just one day. Your head will be full of information, and you won't remember anything. Watch one or two lessons a day. In this way, you will understand the software and not be afraid of it. And because you already managed to absorb and remember things, this will give you the drive to continue. With that said, let's jump into the first lesson. See you there.